What are you hoping that somebody that knows about you, that's listening to the podcast, that's on the path, they're in high school, they're in college, and now they're going into the world. Uh, yeah. What do you want them to take take on that journey with them? Well, what, one, one thing I think is very important, and I wrote about this in Leadership Strategy and Tactics, and the, the it's something that I call preemptive ownership. And, and what this means is extreme ownership is really awesome, but it's past tense, right? Oh, I made this mistake. I'm going to take ownership of it. I'm going to fix it. Well, there's, there's preemptive ownership, which is, which is actually the ideal, which is, hey, if we go on this mission and something goes wrong, it's on me. So I need to set it up in such a way that nothing does go wrong. Or if I'm a, you know, I always like to talk about the commanders of, of ships. If a Navy ship runs aground, that commander is getting fired. So if I know that, then I go through steps. I take preemptive ownership to make sure my people have the training, to make sure that they understand what they're doing, to make sure that the systems are all working up and running. So I take preemptive ownership because I can, I can have much more control that way. And that's the same with your life. Like we have so much control over our lives. So if you're 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 25, 13, whatever age you are, you have so much, if you take ownership of what's going on in your world, preemptive ownership to say, okay, this is what I want to be doing. Here's how I can get there. This is where I want to be. Here's how I can move to get into that position. Here's who I want to be. And here's what I can do to become that person that I want to be. And I was like, like I said earlier, I was very lucky because I joined the SEAL teams. I joined the Navy and all of a sudden my goal became very clear. And I took all this energy. Just, I just wanted to be a good SEAL, Jack. That's what I want. I just want to be a good SEAL. Well, you can pick, pick that out of your life. If you're a young person, you can say, this is what I want to do. And you can start to move in that direction. Look, am I a Pollyannic person that says, yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. You can do anything in life. No, there's limitations to what you can do. But I'm going to tell you what, you can try and you will become a, the best possible version of you that you can ever be if you try and do something that is that, 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 that you set your sights on. So I would say take preemptive ownership of your life. Look at where you want to be in the future and start to make moves that will get you in that direction. I think one of the biggest disconnects that kids have is they don't understand how their present day life impacts their future. And I feel very lucky, Jack, because by the time I was looking around saying, I wonder what I'm going to do with my life. I'd been in the SEAL team for 15 <laughs> years. It was like, I, I was so lucky. I had other friends that at 15 years after high school were saying, you know, I, uh, maybe I should do something besides landscaping. Maybe I should do something besides, you know, painting buildings. Maybe I should do something besides, you know, working at the restaurant. It took them 10 years, 12 years to, to make a move. You and I, well, I, I can at least say I, I was very lucky. I, by the time I looked around, the first time I looked around, I was the admiral's aide. The first time I looked around and said, you know, what I, wonder, what I should do with my life? I was the admiral's aide. I've been in for 15 years. And then it was like, okay, well, what should I do? Oh, I guess I kind of do have a career. Oh yeah, I guess this is a career. So you, you, can, you can make those steps. So if you're a young person out there, figure out what you want to do, figure out where you want to be. And you don't have to be perfect. I say this all the time, five-year plan. I don't really have a five-year plan because all kinds of windows of opportunities are going to open up. I don't know what those are, but figure out who you want to be, figure out where you want to be and put a plan together to get you moving in that direction. And if you do that, you'll be, you'll, you'll look up in three years and you'll be shocked at the progress that you've made. And it, it'll be awesome. <laughs> 